Afternoon guys, it's uh, James Makes a change because the last few videos have been Tim He's been very eager with the social media and the YouTube videos So today we have been working, actually the last couple of days We've been working in this 65 plate 2015 VW T6 um, It's quite a basic van but quite a lot going on in it So last video we did was Comfort Dash um, although this came into us with the standard radio and a plastic steering wheel, we've done an awful lot of stuff. But the video we're doing today is for the Alpine X803. Um, so we've got built-in navigation, we've got Android Auto, we've got CarPlay. And unlike all of the Halo videos that we've been doing recently where the screen sits proud of the dashboard, this is really nicely fitted in flush and you can have the optional um, sun visor as well because you've still got the traditional standard T5, T6 um, angle which in some vehicles the sun does affect the touchscreen and cause some glare. Now I don't know whether you can see in the video, it depends on how far Tim zoomed in but on the top of the dashboard here where my finger is uh, we have removed the factory cigarette lighter because there's still another one down by the gear stick and we have sunk in our usual Alpine USB and HDMI socket that we sort of do as a bundle for customers that go for this because it just looks so much nicer once it's in installed rather than hiding it away and having a fly lead for the USB. So the X803 is very similar to the Halo in terms of how it works and functions. Same operating system, same functionality, and we've teamed it up with the steering wheel control and also things like the reversing sensors. Um, so this car doesn't have a camera, just has rear factory parking sensors, not front and rear, but that can be added at a later date. And will because of the Alpine UART interface allows you to interact with those sensors as well. Also, if the car supported it with the climate control here, you would be able to see your climate control, temperature, heated seats, fan speed, and other bits and pieces. But this is the mid-level climate, um, so it's not the proper high-end or top-end climate control. Okay, so going out of that menu, you've got your standard uh, DAB radio, and you can go in and select any of your stations that you would normally by scrolling up and down. And we've... Uh, rather than fitting an aftermarket glass antenna, we've linked into the factory wing mirror dab one and the same with the GPS so that there's nothing on aftermarket uh, and we haven't had to move any stickers on the windscreen, etc, etc. So uh, go out of the uh, dab, got FM. If people still listen to FM, you can scroll through, select your stations and store them or have them full screen. And again, with the all of the X uh, 803 or the 903 models you've now got the newer software that allows you to have instant access to telephone volume and preset volumes which is something that was fed back to Alpine and they've acted on it. Um, so going back out of there you've got your aux mode um, now you can play um, using the HDMI you can plug in your iPhone for mirroring uh, or maybe a hard drive you can also watch uh, a film and or um, something that you've a podcast or something like that that you've stored on a USB and you can do the same again both with this flush socket so going out of there um, my phone is connected so I can go and connect to the phone so you can go out of there you've got your contacts you've got your keypad you've got all the bits and pieces let's just go onto the keypad nice size keypad on here for um, ease of use obviously you shouldn't be doing it when you're driving anyway but a, a big call button so that's perfect um, now we've also on the T6 activated the instrument cluster so you will get compass features on the instrument cluster and when a when a call is made or received you can answer an end and it will come up on your instrument cluster the name and number something else that we've done with this particular vehicle which I'll show you in a second no. so what we're going to do now is just find my lead um, because this unlike the F903 Halo that's got um, just CarPlay and Android Auto the F904 Halo has got the nav but all of the X803 models have got navigation built in um, and that's a really nice feature if you are stuck in the middle of nowhere you've got your navigation um, and you've also got uh, three years worth of updates as well uh, on the all of these newer models so without boring you too much you can press the nav button again you can go in you can go to a history you can 
set an address. We're already in the United Kingdom. I won't bore you too much because we've done loads of these before. So let's just put a random old postcode in. Go down to here, one, one. And then you need to hit a space on the Alpine systems. Eight, uh, PG. Okay, search. It already knows there's one there. Click, enter your house number and off you go. So that's a really nice feature there and also you can go into see how many satellites you've got at the moment we're in the building so the fact that it's picking up uh, nine GPS okay only two GLONASS but we are inside the building underneath a mezzanine floor so going out of there I'm going to plug in the USB lead onto the top of the dashboard here um, and again the customer wanted it here because it's nice and neat so I'm just going to plug in my iPhone 11 like so and it's gone straight into carplay it probably wants me to unlock my phone so let's go back out of there we've changed the settings on the alpine so that the carplay is for the right hand side and you can go in and select all your bits and pieces so if i scroll along we've got google maps and we've also got ways so your choice of mapping whatever you want to do down to personal preference spotify um, again, just put on your playlist and you can happily listen to hours and hours of music and see it up on the screen here. Or if you've got Apple Music, you've got access to what tracks you're listening to as well. So I can just pop some music in there and do that. So uh, we've got quick access to the last apps we've opened. So Waze, Spotify and then the phone. We've got the keypad as well. So if I was to dial a number here... Okay, so I'm just going to turn this down, make sure it doesn't, not so it's not too loud for you. Thank you for calling Advanced In Car Technology. Okay, the so using the steering wheel, one for technical. Using the steering wheel and CarPlay, you can now answer your calls and end your calls just with a bit of extra programming that we've sorted out on the VW system because we've removed the old radio. Um, and not only that is also that you can do exactly the same using the steering wheel button so that you can keep your eyes and hands on the steering wheel, eyes on the road, hands on the steering wheel and have a nice safe journey. Um, okay, so this is the X803. Um, it's the navigation. You've got um, CarPlay. Oh, I nearly forgot actually, because we don't really use Android Auto, um, but more and more customers are asking for us to do some more demo. Okay, so just plug in the device either your tablet or your phone. So press continue. Okay, and the vehicle will automatically uh, sense that you've plugged in the device, no problem at all. Press continue on the screen. And then there, so let's go down to Android Auto, which would normally be down the bottom here as one of the icons. Sorry if you can see the touch screen there, a little bit uh, greasy, so hit the main menu button. So you've got your navigation, you've got your Spotify, and you've got all the bits and pieces. You've still got uh, the Android version of voice control, like Hey Siri, and you've got all the functions and features. Actually, there's a few more on Android Auto, and you can scroll down through, like so, some helpful guides for you to do, show you how to use it as well. Um, a few apps that you can download and use. Still got phone, still got music, still got navigation. So exactly the same as the uh, CarPlay, but Android's equivalent. So even if you didn't have navigation, you've got all the mod cons and latest stuff. So 2015 late model VW T6, and this has had lots and lots and lots of bits and pieces, but you'll have to keep an eye on our social media and YouTube for all the other stuff that we've done. Loads of upgrades to this customer, but this is the Alpine X803, and it's been fitted into this T6 with uh, all the extra bits and bells and whistles. So thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do, and we'll keep rolling out the videos, and have a nice day.